With the club confirming earlier this week that manager Gary Rowis was going nowhere, the Blues boss is hoping to commit his future to the club by agreeing a new contract. It's ironic really because when all the when all the speculation came about and then after it, it was there was a couple of stories out there about um, you know being being sort of um, rewarded with new contracts you know it's something we've actually been speaking about for about six weeks now um, and I think sometimes it's time scale sometimes you know the fact as we know you know um, there was a big meeting in Hong Kong recently which again that, that a lot of the stuff worked around that um, of course a lot of the jobs available seemed ironically to be around that and there's the speculation as well but um, you know nof nothing's really changed for me um, you know we're, we're happy here we're happy with a job that we're doing we'd like to I think such is our ambition at the moment that we were a little bit disappointed recently but Again, I have to remind everyone, you know, we're disappointed we're in sixth place. Uh, in some ways, we're probably winning the division um, against the teams that we're competing against. And, and even some of those, you know, below have, have got a vast amount of resources to, to kick on again. So I think we've got to be quite pleased with where we are. Um, we want to turn things around. But, uh, and certainly going forward, you know, um, contracts with, with my, not just myself, you know, the staff as well, because I think that's important. Um, and I think the situation is that the club have recognised that you know where we were sort of 12 months ago. Um, but over the 12 months, I think we've we've kind of shown our our, our value, if if you like. Um, and again, you know, I think that's something they've spoke about moving forward. Having waited for his chance of first team football, the manager has been pleased with Nikolai Brock Madsen's performances against Charlton and Brighton. Yeah, I thought for spells of the games, both of the games, he's, he showed glimpses of what we think he, he's got to offer. Um, I felt as though the first half against Charlton, he was really good. Uh, again, maybe just a little bit of tidier finish um, or one or two tidier finishes around him, but I thought he certainly created chances with his work rate, uh, held the ball up quite well. Um, we then took a bit of a gamble, but we thought that because Vaughan wasn't available for this weekend, we didn't see any real benefit in taking Brock out of the team and then putting him back in the team. So we said, you know what, let's give him another go. And, and that, that way, you know, let's see if he can improve again. And if, again, I thought his first half performance was really bright. Um, you know, at the moment, it's going to be difficult for him to maintain that over 90, over 90 minutes. Um, but I think he showed signs of, you know, he's, he's certainly a willing worker. We know that. That's one of the things that attracted us to him. Um, and I think, you know, if he can just add a little bit of composure and a bit more quality at the end of some of those um, chances, you know, then we'll certainly see a lot more to come from him. The manager has also been pleased with how Clayton Donaldson's recovery is coming along. Clayton's making really good progress. Um, Clayton's, you know, been the one that, that everything he's done so far he's had no issues with. So again, we spoke about without putting a definitive time scale on, because I don't think you, can, you ever can until they come back into um, some, some offline stuff, running wise and going back into contact work. Um, but the Chef Wednesday games, again, we're sort of targeting as, as maybe not being far away for around there. Yes, yeah, Cots, um, Cots, I think is a slightly more difficult one because if, if when he works, you know, if he then gets a little bit of soreness, which I think he did the first few sessions, I think the physios by nature, um, you know, Peter, they, they just have to back off a tiny bit for a couple of days. But again, we're hoping he won't be too far away from that time scale as well. Um, but again, listen, I think mean, nothing's definitive with those. What we've got to make sure with, with both of those players is because of the importance they have to the team is that, you know, I don't do the usual manager thing and, and look, you know, let's get them back earlier. Let's get them back in the team because we need it. Uh, and then to risk us then losing them for a longer period. So um, we'll always try to be a little bit sensible. Much as, you know, I know sometimes results can dictate how patient you are with players in terms of getting them back. But I just think in this case, you know, I'd rather bite the bullet with one or two results and, and, and make sure they're available for, for the rest of the season, which I think is going to be important. Robbo's, um, Robbo's been a little bit slower again until he's, he's clears up and, and improves a lot more in terms of the range of movement he's got in his, his quad. Um, we can't do too much with him, so I think it's frustrating for him, frustrating for us, but again, uh, we'll have to just hope that that clears up. Looking ahead to Huddersfield on Saturday, Rowett is hoping his side can deliver a performance to lift the Blues faithful. I think at home, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes when you... When you're in those runs, you know, you look at different things. Do you do the same things, um, but do them a bit better? Um, or do you try one or two different things? And, and, and of course, at home, you know, there's always an emphasis on, on do you perhaps try to make something happen a little bit more than wait for something to happen? Um, 
which I think is always difficult because if you look at our style over the last 13 months, you know, it's been very consistent and we've had success from it. So it's hard to come too far away from that. But um, yeah, uh, certainly different thought processes. Um, you know, I certainly want to give give the home fans um, a performance that you know can lift them off the off off the feet a little bit. Uh, lift them off the feet. I don't know. How I'm going to levitate. <laughs> Lever. Don't know. How I'm going to levitate 20,000 fans. I'm. I'm not that good. I'm that good. That good. Um, lift. Lift them off their seats, perhaps, rather than feet. Um, <laughs> you know. You know. But I mean, it would be nice to get a performance that could levitate 20,000. That would be. That would be some. Uh, that would be some home. Uh, some home game. <laughs> yeah. Darren Brown, watch out. <laughs>